Hi, it's Matt. Right, this is a quick and dirty behind the scenes of our trip to the Inch and Down fuel tanks. Before you watch this, make sure you have seen Tom's video, which explains what this is and where we are. Watch my video, in which I have some musical experiments down there. And then watch this one, because this probably won't make any sense without it. There's always a little part of me when we're filming a video that knows I'm recording, I don't know, hours worth of the stuff that no one's going to get to see. So here's some of it. This is behind the scenes, so it's kind of how we got in and how we got out. So we walked down this really, really long tunnel, which then became this scraggly tunnel. And after a bit more walking, we ended up near the entrance to one of the fuel tanks. And there were several of the tanks down there. And this is the only way in. We were told there was another way in through a hatch and a really long ladder, but apparently that was certain death because it's covered in oil. I'm not going to talk constantly through this, but you may hear more from me in a bit. Okay, shove me through. Elbows down, Alan. Yeah. Streamline position. Yeah. I'll have to go in front of you. He's going in front So the way you get into this, you lie down on this sledgy thing and they give you a push. And then because this is the only way in, all of the kit had to go in on this sledge as well. It only had a couple of rucks out. <laughs> so yeah. legs, just in there. Yeah. Put, put yeah. Legs out. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Feel it, Tom. And elbows in like that. No, no, no. Oh. Hold your hand. Elbows in this part. Just keep it. That's it. Now I am a bit claustrophobic and was feeling pretty nervous about this. I'm kind of wide anyway, so I was wondering if I was going to fit through it. That with a bit of claustrophobia, yeah, it got me a little worried. I did get in in the end though. Oh, I don't know. He's going to be face downwards. Okay. Oh, it says he's a little bit apprehensive about. Yeah, he's not. Uh, tongue, you know? Yeah, I thought he was going to take my head off, honestly. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah. yeah, thank you for the front of my son, it's been much better. <laughs> <laughs> if you stay in the middle here, and just raise, raise, then you should keep a bit cleaner there. So this is the full length of the tank. It's ridiculously long, it's 237 metres, I think. We filmed our videos, we took a few long exposure photos, and then it was time to go out again. This is what the pipes look like from the other side, with our kit on it ready to go out as well, or well, most of it. Go for it. <laughs> Here's me coming out. Yeah. Go. <laughs> it's much better coming out than going back in. <laughs> you know Yorkshire? Yeah. Where, where this lad and I are from. I'm Tim. I'm me. You're a Yorkshireman. I'm from York. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, really? Oh. You're from East Riding, aren't you? North Riding. North Riding. Best part. <laughs> yeah. I'm West Riding, me. Oh, well. Can't be helped. <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody has to be. <laughs> that was it. The long walk through the tunnel again, and then we were out. Thanks to the Bannerman Group for letting us into the tunnels, and to Alan, Alan, and Preston for helping us out with everything on the day. Thank you for watching this. Um, if you haven't yet, as I said at the beginning, go watch Tom's video, which explains what all of this is, why we were there, and go watch my video if you want to see me pissing about with some musical instruments I didn't know how to play. <laughs>